Hi guys, welcome back. This is an updated video. One of my previous video, I have shown you how you can transfer your Android game or game data, whatever you can name it, from one Android phone to another. So you can use either ways any of the communication media like Bluetooth, NFC, Wi-Fi sharing, or you can use USB OTG, or you can use uh, computer laptop connection. So you need to transfer some set of files. That was the main reason, and you need to find out exactly where is that file located, which is called as a game data. So whatever may be reason, if you are not willing to spend your internet connection, or you might be traveling, you're out of internet. So if you have a lot of devices, like I just got new 3D, so I want to transfer something here. Uh, not because I'm saving in it, just because the tricks, because a lot of people are still searching that. So we'll see how you can transfer. So uh, make sure to watch the previous video because that was one of the way in which you can do that. But today this is another way because uh, games keeps on changing their file structure. So let's go and see how you can do that. So we'll start here guys. So just for reference, I had an Asphalt 8 game installed here. And I just transferred this to my this phone. Uh, from one plus three to one plus three you can see now i have the game here i'm completely running so i just did it before filming this video but yeah you need to configure everything because uh, you know uh, you need to use the play game account then you need to log in so these things are mandatory stuff because you need to do and everything is came here you can see you have to use the google play account to do that so everything is came and game is pretty much working at all so now we will see how you can uh, do some other games so i'm just going to use my this phone here and i had a game called modern combat 5 and i'm just going to transfer from here to there you can see this is a game which is tall here modern combat 5 which is perfectly working in my pixel so i'm just going to transfer from this phone to oneplus 3t so what are the things you need first as said here you need to use some kind of way to transfer the file so i as told you you can use either usb otg and computer or any of this file transferring application that you use so let me show you exactly what is uh, things going on so when you install any app there is a folder so make sure to use any good file explorer for example es file explorer solid explorer astro whatever is your preference right so just you have to go inside a folder called as android so this should be inside your internal storage not your sd card preferably where you have taken your default solution folder in case you have uh, both the places and if you're going to transfer some other phones which has also sd card internal storage so you need to check out the both places inside the sd card and write and inside the internal story so this since this is uh, has no sd card support so i'm just using the internal storage now once you get inside you can see there is a folder called obb so now we are inside the obb folder so generally uh, games create a single obb file so it depends on how the game is designed you can see for example this is x stream it just has a single uh, obb file this is a uh, uh, xfold stream from the company game loft so some file naming structure it is of the size of one gigabyte so on my previous video i have shown you if you can just transfer the same file to the same directory structure you can create it here so for example i've just created here if i just go inside my android directory to my oneplus 3t obb folder i just created this and i got the complete game here but uh, some things are different for example if you take this uh, as fault 8 you can see there is a no obb file so that's why there is a problem that's why i made this video so now you need to do this thing you need to come back to the android folder just go inside this data folder so you will see a lot of games are there so now we'll see our as fault 8 so this is the asphalt 8 uh, you can see this uh, you know animations here this is the icon of folder this is game loft a8 that means asphalt 8 right so get inside you can see there are many set of files files folder so many files so i counted there i guess there were somewhere near to 890 files so it's very difficult to send all the files and even if you try to use send some folder so some files i did try that i got corrupted so there's a simple solution you need to install winrar for that or you can install any of the winzip file you just need to go there and create so now i'm taking example of modern combat 5 because already I have created the GIF files for that as fault it is already transferred. So this is the modern commit 5 right here game loft this is MHHM and this is all files I have already created an archive here you can see this is the archive for the game loft M5 modern commit 5. Now you need to just transfer this, this rare file to this your new phone where you're going to stall. So already I have transferred that file using the application called send anywhere so it's good actually you can see i just transferred this file to 709 mb everything is transferred so you should go there and inside directory we have found so this is what is there now you need to use the same uh, rare application you need to just extract it so just select it and click on this extract button so once it is extracted then we will see how you can do that 
so we have extracted the file uh, this is the fall completely uh, if I just go inside you will see all these things here now you need to use this uh, solid explorer and you have to just go inside the same folder you see this is what we got right now you need to go inside the second page where uh, your all things are there same android folder this is the android and uh, this is the obb this should not be here so we are going to create uh, the same folder directly inside this data folder so this is the modern combat 5 folder you can see and it has empty right mh m5 hm so now we are inside the same you just need to since we already folder is created just select these two file cut it here and paste it here and you can also create backup here itself you can transfer it anywhere else and keep it for the future purpose so everything is copied here now we'll see whether game is running fine or not so i should get some icon here this is modern comment 5 right so just launching first time here since this is new device i haven't installed it here actually i was just preparing for the you know uh, speed test between the 3 and 3d so you can see it's very fine files so it should verify pretty soon so everything is verified i guess see uh game has taken the file yeah but you need to make sure uh, both phones should running the same kind of architecture uh, you need to use the cpu jet application to verify whether it's running arm 64 or arm 32 mostly latest phones are running arm 64 if you transfer from arm to arm 64 it won't work so this is step you need to do this is the first time step uh, it is mandatory so once you do that your game is stopped you are good to go you can see everything came so make sure to watch guys previous video also because uh, uh, not all games have this kinds of you can see one plus 3d got hanged sometimes it does hang or anyway so we are here so i'm just summarizing again all you need to do is send some file structure so if the game is not inside this for the android obb if the game is uh, for example if it has a file obb you need to send the same file you need to create the same directory structure otherwise if it is not there go inside this data folder inside the android and find a game and send it the complete cache and files by creating archive other forms and it should work pretty much fine all right so there you have it guys a tutorial how you can send complete android game and data to any of the android phones support android phones so i hope you guys find this video helpful this is Saurabh. i'll catch you next video Thanks for watching.